34 years to the day since her body was discovered dumped in a ditch. Today, Caroline Pierce's killer was jailed for life. David Fuller also killed and sexually abused Wendy Nell in the same year of 1987. Both families had all but given up hope of justice. We've been hoping and hoping and hoping for years. And now it's just come. And it's not going to sink in for a little while. But since his arrest last December, David Fuller has become almost more notorious for sexually assaulting over 100 dead women and girls in two Kent Hospital mortuaries, where he worked for three decades. Before sentencing, families of the victims talked of the devastating impact. The mother of a nine-year-old victim said, it will haunt me forever and the rest of my life. I will go home tonight, like every night, and see the abuse that that man has done to my baby. That man has taken everything from me. The father of a victim said, Fuller has taken our little girl's innocence and destroyed our souls. I am consumed with anger. The daughter of a victim said, you have proved in your depravity that monsters are very real. You are the absolute worst of humanity. John, who doesn't want to be identified, spoke of his wife being violated by Fuller. I looked at him and I said to him, when he gets put away in jail, I hope he has time to reflect on what he's done and think himself lucky that he wasn't going to be sharing a cell with me. Despite being given two whole life sentences for the murders, the decades of mortuary rapes only amounted to 12 years. So, for example, for raping the body of Azra Kamal three times, he was given just three months. This is the respect the criminal justice system gives the victims three months for each offence of rape. Very painful. I cannot heal. How can you heal? I can't find any other adjectives to describe him, describe him the contempt I have for him uh, because of the impact that, we ha that it's had on those individuals and the families. But, but the number of people going to be impacted by it for the rest of their lives, with the memories of their loved ones, we're talking hundreds if not thousands of people impacted by it. An inquiry has been set up to examine how Fuller got away with this for so long. But families want reassurances that it will be robust and that sentencing laws will be toughened. Jason Farrell, Sky News.